many times I caught you, girl, you ain't pick up the phone. How can I contain myself? This shit got me in my zone. You said that you loved me, but I left you all alone. Now I see the truth about us. We was never home. She's so sexy. I got a whole lot of niggas can't test me. I said I might just fuck with your bestie. I said you talk too much, so don't vex me. Yeah, she's so sexy. You said I'm boss, like why they come jet ski? And ain't nothing really gonna impress me. I told my baby, don't call, just tell me. Ooh, ooh, Vaz, I got a limit. Ooh, ha, ha. She can't take it, that's enough. Yo, Vaz, what's good, homie? Uh, I want to welcome you to the Top Bob Podcast. What's up, man? I'm happy to be here, man. For real, man. For real. Yo, I appreciate that, bro. Um, so, first thing I want to ask you, well, I'll start off saying I discovered you through your uh, latest single, Sexy. I thought mm-hmm. it was great. Um, then I checked out your discography. You've been pretty busy this year, uh, dropping some singles. Uh, let everybody know first and foremost where you're from and uh, how it was growing up in your area. Uh, well, first things first, man. Where I was like originally like born, where I was originally born at, I was born in Wichita, Kansas. Found, you know what I'm saying. So I was there since I was like eight. You know what I'm saying. So, and then you know, so just like family troubles and shit. So I had moved to Houston. So then, yeah. So I've been there. Just, I've been there ever since, bro. So. Yeah, man, I've just been in Houston ever since, man. And like, it's just growing up in growing up in Houston. It was I don't know how to explain it. It's, I wouldn't say it was tough, but it was definitely an experience, man, for real. Yeah, and I'm great. Yeah. Um, talk about uh, like growing up, especially in Houston. What were you hearing in your <clears> household <throat> and like on the streets as a kid? And then what did you start listening to? Uh, when you got control of the Oxford yourself, because Houston is a uh, Huge, huge staple for hip hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking. About. Yeah. Um. So the whole thing is, man. When I really started, like, when I really started getting into music, when I was, like, it was when I uh, moved to Houston, and it was really like. But the thing is, music been music's been a part of me all my life, man. So the whole thing is, I just never really like expressed it or like really like. I don't know how to explain it, but like, I just really never discovered that this is what I was really going to be doing for the rest of my life. You know what I'm saying, man? And so it's like when I was young, but I was listening to, I was listening to like, hella, I was listening to everything, man. I'm not going to lie. I listened to hella Lil Wayne. I listened to hella, um, what's it called? I listened to hella uh, R. Kelly, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not, I was never just someone that just listened to one specific type of genre, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause I just, I, I mixed and matched, man. For, I used to listen to rock too. I listened to uh, Three Days Grace. Um, you know what I'm saying? So it was never, it was never, some, it was never me just sticking to one genre. I listened to, I listened to so much, man. So, but I listened to more, I got more into music for real when I started like getting older. So like by middle school, that's when I started really, really tapping into like the shit that's going on. You know what I'm saying, man? Like I'm talking about like the, like the niggas that's up right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I was listening, listening like to Cardi and shit. Um, Future, you know what I'm saying? Drake, Drake was a big one too, man. Um, I also fuck with Justin Timberlake a lot, man. Like, it's just, you know what I'm saying? It's just artists from different time zones, from different, like, just different eras, bro. Like, it really doesn't matter to me because it's all music at the end of the day. You yeah, no, I, I agree with you when you say that, right? Because um, I could never, like, each, every artist I enjoy listening to has, like, it's a different moment in my life or, exactly. you know, it brings yeah. you back to that time or it's just like, oh, I just, you know their shit's hot at a certain age or um, it's what I, what you hear like when you go outside um so is there a profound um impact of hip-hop on you being in houston talk about that talk about the hip-hop scene in houston that that you've noticed uh, um well i know because you know like the chop and screw yeah exactly you know I mean, so yeah so that was definitely like something but that's the thing i didn't really I didn't really tap into that until I got older in Houston. Cause when I was still young, I wasn't really, I wasn't really listening to all of that shit at all. I really didn't know Houston music at all. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But like, once I got older, that's when I really started tapping into that shit. And honestly, that really implemented like the way I, the way I just view my music now cause of the chopping screwed and slowed. So now it's like, I make sure that I always want to listen to my music slow because I feel like it's a whole different song when you slow your song down, you know what I'm saying? 
it's a whole oh, yeah. different song, a whole different vibe. So I really do think I really do thank Houston for really like implementing that into me, man, because like I would have never really like slow like music and listen to really slowed and chopped and screw music if it wasn't for Houston, man. So I you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah. Shout out to Houston, uh great city, definitely a staple uh in hip hop, uh from mm-hmm. when I was a child, uh definitely up to now. Um talk about when <laughs> You got the confidence in yourself to start dropping your music online like how old were you when you like in your head you were like okay i definitely want to start making music talk about the process of that idea and then what it led up to you you know publicly dropping for the first time so <clears throat> the whole like, how old were you when you got the a, idea that's a good ass question man um i was like 17 yeah i was like 17 man like that's the whole thing. When it comes to music, bro, it was always in my life. I just never knew that this was, I never really, like, I always paid attention to music. Music was always in my life. I just never really, like, sat down with myself and actually think, like, can I actually make music as well? You know what I'm saying? So it just took me, like, it took, you know, it took some time, man, but I, I, I'm really glad, though. Like, so really, it was 17, I was 17 when I actually, like, decided okay let me actually go into the studio and actually make music and actually my first time in the studio was two years ago it was a, uh, it was in houston Texas. um it's called i think the studio was called live box yeah shout out to live box yeah so that was my first time in an actual studio so it was it's actually a crazy story too because my my mother man she was really like she was really like she wasn't really a fan of this shit man you know what i'm saying she wasn't she didn't believe in this shit in this type of shit man at all so it's like a lot of people like I, I honestly a lot of a lot of people in my family really don't believe in this shit at all man you know what i'm saying so it's like it was i'm not gonna say it was i mean it was definitely hard but i wouldn't say it was a real struggle for real because the type of person i am man like i prevail regardless like i really don't give a fuck what people think bro i'm going to do exactly what i want to do so really realistically man two years ago was the first was my first time i ever like okay like let me actually make like make something actually drop it because the whole thing is i'll be like you know what i'm saying you, you know how you be in the cars with your friends you know what I'm saying you smoking and shit and then you just start freestyling you know so you know how yeah, that shit yeah. so, so it was really it was really like it was really like that but then like i just realized that it was just i was just freestyling and i was just it was just fucking good you know what i'm saying so <laughs> so that's when i was like i really start. that's when i was really thinking like damn like you know what i'm saying like can i really like make music because all my friends were making music you know what i'm saying so many of my friends so many of my niggas were making music so it's like but i didn't really want to like i just thought it was like kind of cliche that okay you start making music and shit because i didn't know i just didn't like i don't know i just didn't see myself making music but honestly man like the day that i really decided okay i want to this is really like, this is really what I do. This is really what I want to do for the rest of the life. Yeah, the rest of my life. So it's like that day. Um, it really changed my life forever, man. And honestly, like the day that I went to my first studio session, you know, what I'm saying I remember it so vividly. It was two. It was, um, it was in October of I think 2020. October of 2020 when I went to my first studio session, you know what I'm saying? So that was my first time actually hearing myself in in a studio on a track, you know what I'm saying? Um, it was fucking terrible. But yeah, you feel me, man? But that's how, but you already know that's how that's how that shit started. That's how that shit works, man. So it's just all about evolution and keep going what you're doing, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, I'm not I'm not somebody that gives up at all. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? So especially with and I'm glad I didn't give up because the evolution of how I am now, you know, say definitely paid off. So I'm just, I'm just thankful, man. I'm really, I'm really thankful that I took that risk and just go to the studio because I really wasn't allowed to even go to that studio that time. You know what I'm saying? So I, I was really breaking my mother's rules and I was just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really just didn't give a fuck, bro, because I knew exactly what I wanted to do, man. You know what I'm saying? Man? So yeah, that that's fire, bro. I, lo- I love that attitude. Um... And you gotta have an attitude like that, especially in this yeah, industry, yeah. bro. You, like you gotta get shit done, and you gotta keep grinding. Uh, yeah, yeah, otherwise, yeah. you're not gonna last. Um, right. talk about some of your influences. Um, who would you say are some of your influences in the way you make music, like your style? Um, yeah, I have a lot, man. I'm not gonna lie, I have a lot, man. Like, and that's the thing. Like, when it comes to me, bro, I can never just stick to. I can never just see one person and just 
Like, just take the whole influence. Like, I'm influenced by so many things, man. And I feel like that's, that's, and I feel like being influenced by so many things, that's what creates originality. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, like, I agree. I, when I listen to your music, it's like nothing's like, there's some song, like, they're not just all the same. You know what I mean? You definitely have a, a lot of versatility, which is a fan I, I enjoy. Um, appreciate that, man. For real. Yeah, no doubt. Um, so I always ask everyone this question, no matter how big the artist is, no matter how underground, if you could have three dream features from any artist, dead or alive, who would it be? <laughs> uh, shit, that, uh, that's not on one song, just in general. In general, um, yeah, I'm going to pick my top three right now, but that's the thing. It always be, I'm not going to say always switches, man, but like it's, it, it kind of like, it fluctuates a lot, but my main top three artists that I want to just, for sure, I want to get on a track with and I'll feel proud as fuck that, okay, I got on a song with this person is Michael fucking Jackson. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Huge um, artist. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. The best like, ever to do it, yeah. yeah. And that's, that's, and he's another inspiration for me as well. Like, I'm inspired by so many artists, man. It's, 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 it's. And he kind of gives you that, your poppy. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Pop vibe. Yeah. I noticed <laughs> yeah, that when I was listening to your thing. I love, I loved it. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. For real. Like, that's just, that shit really means a lot, man. Like, it's it, seriously, but. Like Michael Jackson is one for sure. Um, Mariah Carey for sure. Like when it comes when it comes to her, man, that's but that's like, that's a whole other story in itself, man. Because he doesn't miss, yeah, especially on a feature. Man, what like I I grew up. That's the thing. I grew up watching. I grew up like just focusing on her. She's another inspiration too. Like that's why I really like. I'm more I'm more on the singing side than just rapping specifically. You know what I'm saying, man? I don't want to just rap. I don't want to just rap. That's not that's not even something I want to be, bro. I'm I'm really I'm honestly, bro, I'm really more of a singer than a rapper, man. Like yeah. <laughs> you feel me? So Michael Jackson, Mariah Carey and shit like damn I'm not gonna lie. To be honest, man, I would really love to get on a fucking song with Jeanette Aiko. That's dope. <clears throat> She's yeah, fire, bro. She, yeah, she, she, hey, shout out to Jeanette Aiko and shout out to Mariah Carey. Like those, those two women there, they, they are phenomenal, man. So it's like, I don't want to, and this is the thing, like, I'm not even, I'm not the type of person to just, like to just say bullshit, like bro. I really want like this. These are like I've I've been studying. I've been studying her music. I've been studying her. I've been studying Mariah Carey since I was a fucking child, man. So it's like, bro. These are these. So I know the reason why I want to get on a song with these specific artists because I feel like I would thrive so much being on a song with these specific artists. So yeah, man. Michael Jackson, Mariah Carey, and Janaiko, man. Yeah, I love the list too, because <clears throat> it's rare for you know, male artists to give two, two out of three of the, as female. Yeah. Um, you yeah, yeah. But I, No, I love that answer because um, I think female artists, especially, you know, in the hip hop space, uh, they don't get enough, uh, enough respect. They don't get enough dudes. <sighs> they don't bro. And I, 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 I don't know. I, I got my own opinion on that, but that's for another, that's for another time, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, So obviously you're an independent artist. Um, what do you think per you need personally most to uh take your career to the next level? Uh honestly, man, I do, I do, I definitely do plan on signing. Okay, so you're you're interested in signing to a label. Hell yeah, yeah. I definitely do plan <laughs> on signing. I definitely do plan on signing, yeah. So is that well like if you could key in on like one thing that, that you're missing or you think you need most besides the label, what would it be? Uh just an actual a better better equipment for sure better equipment at my uh at my house that i'm with right now just a better environment because i'm just i'm surrounded by people that don't believe in what i'm doing you know what i'm saying yeah yeah that's so, yeah man so it, that's definitely something that it's it's, it's kind of annoying but I, i'm always the person to prevail off of that shit man that so that that shit that's not something yeah, you got to use that shit to fuel you exactly man exactly bro so that's just, that's not something that's gonna bring me down it just keeps me moving forward keeps me more motivated to actually get this shit done and get to where the fuck i'm at and actually live the life that i'm supposed to be living man so it's like yeah i feel like yeah just better equipment just a better environment um 
And yeah, just and, and just that exposure, just that platform, man, honestly. Cause I, I know, I know for a fact that I know one thing for sure. I'm not, I'm not a cocky bastard at all, man. But like, um, I know for a fact that I don't make bad music at all. Yeah, no, you know I agree with that statement. You feel me, man? So I just really need that platform so people can actually see what I'm doing. Yeah, <clears throat> I agree with you 100. percent I think that's um, that's what a lot of underground artists lack, right? They don't, they yeah, don't most don't have the exposure. Exactly. Uh, uh, or just to keep it real, the money to yeah, you know, facts you gotta, too. <laughs> if, if, as an independent artist, bro, you need money. You need, you need money. money to get your shit out there, or you need connections. And um, uh, money and connections is the key to this shit. It doesn't matter who you are. Um, so let's talk about uh your last single, sexy. Um, talk talk about how that song came together and uh, what kind of mind space were you in when you made that song? Yeah, that's a good ass question, man. Uh, so when it comes to sexy, bro, I made that. I think I made that song. I think two months ago. Yeah, you feel me? So I made that song too. So it's still fresh, you know what I'm saying? So I made that song two months ago, man. I was just I wasn't I wasn't in no I was I really I was really just chilling. I was just thinking that okay, like I completely understand the type of artist I am, and that was just me, okay. Let me step out of the box from the beats that I've been getting, right? And actually get a beat that's like okay, like. You know what I'm saying? More 70s, 80 disco pop. Cause I, I love like I love music like that, man. Like it's something with a little funk to it, yeah. Yes, man. Yes, Get bro. It. Yes. Yeah, you feel me? Like, and that's the thing. Like, I genuinely love music like that. Like, I love music like that. But the whole thing is I love music, period, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So, yeah, hell yeah. Exactly, man. So one thing that's for sure about me, man, I like I will never be, I will never be just categorizing one genre. That's one thing that's that that I will stand on, like I will stand on. Like I'm never you will never categorize me as just a fucking trap rapper because I can drop fucking sexy, you know what I'm saying? I sound like sexy, and then that's that's nowhere near trap. Nothing that's nowhere near yeah, trap. Yeah, I would call you uh more of like alternative, which is dope. Right. Which is right. dope. Right. You, yeah. you can do multiple things. Exactly, man. I I really do take pride in that too. I really do take pride in that. So I really appreciate you for even like, for even like putting that out there, man. For real, because I don't I don't want to I don't want to stay in one genre at all. I wanna I wanna I wanna appeal to I wanna appeal to every type of audience. So it's like rock, pop, hip hop, um, rap. You know what I'm saying? Just everything, man. But when it comes to sexy, man, I was just I was just you know what I'm saying? I was just. I was just in the headspace, like down, like let me just, you know what I'm saying? Let me get a little, let me get a little pop beat and let me just, you know what I'm saying, just fuck it up real quick, man. That's that's just really, that's just really what I like to do, man. So and I how man, my way of explaining it, I feel like it's just it's any beat that I can get and I just vasify it, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm vase. So it doesn't matter what beat it is, man. I just get on it and just do what I do, you know what I'm saying? It's just you know what I'm saying? I just make it sound. I just just make it work, man. That's really how it is. And honestly, man, when I was making sexy, like I was just, I was so like, man, I was down. Man, that's a good ass question, man. But yeah, I was, I was in an okay headspace. I just feel like, I just feel like, you know, I just feel like doing more of a popish type song. You know what I'm saying? Just to, just to really like expand and like just see okay how i really sound because that was the first time i actually that's the first time i made a song on like that type of beat you know what i'm saying man yeah you're experimenting i get it exactly man exactly so and and i feel like every artist out there every underground artist if you're you know what i'm saying it doesn't matter who you are you should be experimenting with your voice and with your sound at all the time daily yeah no i agree with that 100 percent um who, who would you say is your your targeted audience Damn. Because uh, you do have, you know, you have the trap rap and then you have the pop too. Um, yeah, you feel me, man? So, it's like... Like, um, who would you say you're targeting most? Um, like, with the sexy record, like, you think you're targeting the female audience as well? Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. I, did, I definitely had an intention of, like, 
you know what I'm saying? Just pretty girls, pretty girls jamming my music, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really like, I love, I love women that jam my music. I think, I think like if you're a girl and you, and you listen to my music, I think you're the most beautiful thing on this earth. Cause it's like, I really take pride in that. So it's like, when it comes to sexy, I definitely, I definitely like, I made that song more towards, yeah, more towards the female, you know what I'm saying? The female, um, audience you know what i'm saying but i think but at the same time niggas can jam sexy all the time you know what i'm saying anybody yeah, can, yeah i was jamming it <laughs> exactly man you yeah, know yeah. You know what I'm so it's like i just feel like i just feel like my target audience is just whoever is just whoever just enjoys real music you feel me man it doesn't matter what race doesn't matter what color doesn't matter what gender man if you enjoy real music i am here to give that to you yeah that's fire bro um i love that and i love uh the way you're you're experimenting as an artist it shows growth and um i love when i you know artist drops a song and um it's you know it's not going to be the same thing every time yeah. i enjoy, i enjoy that um so let's talk about what's next for you what uh what's your plans going forward uh what can your fans expect from you next or people that uh discover you discover you through this interview uh well what i can say for sure what i can say for sure if you discovered me through this interview and if you actually enjoy my music i feel like you you just discovered something that's going to be very very special because and i'm not trying to i'm, I'm not trying to like you know what I'm saying like talk like up about myself or you know what i'm saying i like just <clears throat> oh, no, you're on the interview talk your shit yeah, you know, well, I mean, I mean, I, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm but like, I'd always definitely do try to be humble. But what is for sure, like, what is I know that is a fact. If you discover me and if you like my music, let me know and keep letting me know, keep telling me, keep just keep just just keep pushing it, and I'm going to keep satisfying you. And and that's one thing when it comes. What that's one thing what I completely understand when it comes to this music, shit, man. Like, you you can't please everybody. Okay. Yeah. You can't please everybody. So the whole thing is, since I understand you can't please everybody, bro, the people that I am pleasing with my music, let me know who I'm pleasing so I can continue to please them. You feel me, man? So that how that's so that's really how I see my fans and my fan base and my supporters and the people that enjoy and love my music. Just keep letting me know that you love my music and I'm going to keep satisfying you. You know what I'm saying? Because I know... I know I can't please everybody for foot, but for the people that I am pleasing, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna continue to please, you know what I'm saying? And what what you can see next is just man, I'm, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop more singles, man, and then eventually I'm just gonna get to an EP where I just drop a full take. Yeah, that's a, that that was my next question. When's the EP or the album coming? Because you got yeah. a bunch of singles out there, but we're missing a project. Yeah, man, for sure. And the thing is, and this is the thing, like how many like the amount of songs that i have right now i can definitely drop i can i can actually drop a few albums but because that i know that i i know the type of artist that i want to be man you know what i'm saying i don't want to be an artist that you hear today and it's gone tomorrow i want to be an artist that is here forever you know what i'm saying man so yeah. it's like i'm really like i'm really taking my time and i'm gonna take my time and we're gonna take as much effort as i can to make the best music just organize it in the best way for not for me for y'all you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day like obviously obviously this shit is about me but it's it's realistically it's not about me it's about the people who that it's about the people who enjoy my music and that actually like enjoy what i'm creating fam so all of this shit is really for them you know what i'm saying man so yeah i love that i love that you just said that right because um i think artists some artists get to such a big point that they forget like you're not shit without your fan base. You know what exactly, I mean? Like, exactly, man. Exactly. Like if a if a if an A list rapper wakes up tomorrow and no one gives a fuck that they're dropping next week, like they're done. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like your shit's exactly. done. Yeah. Exactly, bro. So it's like people need to really understand, like, bro, like the people that are supporting you and the people that are loving what you create. These are the people that are keeping you forward and keeping you up. So it's like, if anything, the people that you you should appreciate the most is them. You know what I'm saying? And so I fully understand that. So I'm, I definitely know that I'm not going to fall. <laughs> Excuse me. I definitely am not going to fall under that bullshit of like, you know what I'm saying? Being too much of a, a cocky guy, being too like, just, just like, 
just self-centered because I know without the people that support me, man, I'm not going to elevate. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I no, just, that's dope. exactly, man. So I really do love each and every single person that actually listens to my music and and enjoys it. Like I wish I can, I wish I can like legit like. I don't know, man. I have, I really have so much love for the people that in, that listen to my music, man. It's crazy, man. For real. Yeah, that's dope, bro. It's dope seeing an artist, um, you know, have so much like thankfulness for for the people that enjoy their art. Yeah, I think man, that's dope, man. and I think everyone who sees this can appreciate that. Um, uh, yeah. so before we get out of here, bro, let everybody know where they could find your music at. And just spell your artist name out, and then uh, the mic's yours, bro. If there's anything you want to say before we get out of here, uh, well, you gonna you gonna find my music on all platforms besides YouTube. I'm will be dropping on YouTube. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do all of that because I need all the I need I need my music everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to just limit myself. You know what I'm saying? Because if everybody, if somebody wants to listen to my music and they don't have SoundCloud, Apple Music, Spotify, but they have YouTube, and my music is not on YouTube. I'm limiting, I'm limiting, I'm limiting myself. Yeah, because everyone can go on the internet and find YouTube. You got to get yourself up there. Exactly, man. So that's what I'm really trying to, I'm really trying to work on that and just get all my stuff on all platforms. But you can definitely find me on Apple Music, Spotify, SoundCloud, you know what I'm saying, under VAS, Voss, you know what I'm saying. Um, and the whole thing, man, I'm just, I just want to, I just want to do the best that I can to satisfy everybody that enjoys my music. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, I feel like I'm right now at the point that I am right now, I understand, okay, I would be an idiot to stop doing this. I've been idiot to stop making music. Okay. Cause I'm actually generally making people enjoy, enjoy their lives with the music that they're listening to. So I only appreciate them and, uh, and I just, I, I'll be nothing without them. So it's like I just want you guys. I just want everybody to understand that I really love and appreciate every one of you, and I want to keep satisfying you, and I want to keep. I just want to keep. Just I just want to keep making. Just just making your day a little bit better. You know what I'm saying, man? Yeah, hell yeah, bro. That's dope. Uh, and like you said, everyone can find you on uh Apple, Spotify, yep. uh SoundCloud, uh under Vaz, um Vaz V A S. Yep, VAS. I want to thank you for coming on the podcast, bro. Um, yeah, yeah, bro. A pleasure to have you on here. I really enjoyed your music. Uh, I've been bumping sexy since I listened to it. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, like I said, it's great to have you on, bro. If there's anything personally that I can do for you, promotion-wise, anything like that, you got my number, just let me know. And um, yeah, that's it. Appreciate you for even looking at, just looking at me, man. I'm looking at my what I'm doing and looking at what I'm creating, man. I really do. I really do appreciate you, man, for real. Yeah, no doubt, bro. Stay safe. And like I said, bro, and I mean it, if you need anything, let me know, okay? I got you, man, for real. We like that, man, for real. Yeah, no doubt. Anything I can do to help you, bro, just let me know. If you ever drop something, anything, I'll post it up for free. You don't got to worry about it. Yeah, appreciate you, man, for real. No doubt, bro. Stay safe, all right? You too, man. I love y'all, man. All right, have a good day, boss. You too, bro.